Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and Web Design and Tech Tips. Well, today we've got a custom product page. We put this together using the great Woo modules that come installed with the Divi theme when you put it in there. It makes your product page a lot more interesting and you can customize it to whatever your needs are. And it makes a much better user experience for your visitors. So let's get started. I'm going to open a new page. I'm going to go up to new, hit page. I'm going to give it a title. Good idea to give it the title, whatever product you're building. I'm going to use the Divi Builder, obviously. And let's build from scratch. I'm going to put two columns in. And if we go down to the bottom, these are all the modules that come as standard with the Divi theme, right at the bottom you'll find Woo modules. I'm going to click on that. And that gives us a palette of modules here. We can pick and choose and there's plenty of them here. If you don't see that, Woo modules will automatically appear when you have WooCommerce installed. So if you're not seeing it, it's probably because you don't have WooCommerce installed. Okay, well let's start with some breadcrumbs we'll find the product we're looking for office pants and let's make this a little more interesting I'm going to give it a background gradient here and I've actually got a couple of colors from my buttons up here we've got the green or the aqua whatever color you want to call it let's make that one that one And the blue will turn into that sort of ready purple color. Keep in style with the rest of our site. It's a good thing about these modules. It allows you to easily customize your site. Let's get the gradient direction. Perhaps something like that. And let's actually separate the colors. By putting the start and the end to a similar position, you can actually separate the colors like that. Okay, well, let's pop over to our design and let's add a bit of spacing perhaps to the left hand side. We could make it wider. And our actual text, we hit the little paintbrush there, or you can go down to text. If you hit the paintbrush, it'll take you to it. I'm going to use the regular font, I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm going to make it white in color so it stands out a little bit. Might bring it up just a little bit in size. That's pretty good, something like that. And you can make it wider if you want to by adding some more line height. That works for me. And perhaps a bit of text shadow just to make it stand out a bit more. If you wanted to, you could use sizing to squash that down and have the actual two colors meet over the text there. So if we close that down, we can go to sizing and let's say give it well, 300 pixels. I've put the PX in there, PX, usually it'll put it in there for you, but with width you want to make sure it doesn't put in percentage. If it does, just select percentage and change it. That's great. And we can actually go back into our background there to the gradient. And flip the direction around a little bit. And you can actually offset it so it's on top. Let's take that back a little bit, 53. Yeah, that's pretty close. Okay, well that works for me. If you wanted to, you could go design, put a bit of box shadow on the bottom, just lift it off the page. Okay, in our second column here, let's put our product title. And again, we're gonna zoom down to the bottom to the Woo modules. And there's a Woo product title. Obviously choose a product that we want the title for. There we go. I'm going to leave that just like that. Obviously you can style that how you wish. Divi comes with a ridiculous amount of fonts. If you want to audition one, just roll over it. It'll give you an example. Like I say, they've got a huge amount of fonts there. We're still in the A's and it goes all the way up to Z. But I'm going to leave mine on the regular default today. All right, well, let's pop an 
image in of the actual product itself down below so I'm going to hit the little button to add a new module again we'll shoot down to the woo modules and I want product images there we go choose your product again Give this over here so we can see and you've got elements that you can display here featured image gallery image we've got no gallery images obviously for that one show sales badge there's the sales badge and you can link it and put backgrounds in if you want to I'm gonna leave that just as it is I'm going to change that sale badge to a similar color as perhaps our buttons up here so if we go down we've got sale badge text right there sale badge color let's grab my little purpley color click on the color there and just paste it in there we go and you can make that text stand out again on that badge what a bit of text shadow there that's great and I think I'll just add a bit of box shadow to the bottom of that image so if we roll down box shadow down here like everything else you can give it borders and you size it and space it but that's gonna work for me right there okay now we need to put perhaps a product description below our breadcrumbs there so let's add a new module again the little button again we'll zoom down to the woo modules now I want product description this time woo product description short descriptions fine choose the product that we want I think I've just got lorem ipsum in for most of my products here as this was a demo site we built with Divi that's fine I'll leave that just like that and let's add the price underneath perhaps again we'll hit the little button to add a new module back down to our woos and there's woo product price right there choose the product that we've got here great that's okay I just think I'll change the actual regular price there sale new price it is and let's use our sort of greeny aqua color there and again click on the little add color copy my hex code that's fine I'll make that might make that just a little bit bigger in size fantastic and of course we want them to buy it so let's add an add to cart button down underneath here again we'll go hit the little button to add a new one down to the woos and let's go up and find the add to cart there it is right there and you can choose what elements you want quantity and show the stock level it's got that above there and let's just make our button similar color the green color again or the aqua color whatever so I'm going to flip the little switch from no to yes text color I'm going to make that white button background let's make it our aqua color initially there we go and I'm not gonna have a border on there now common to most Divi modules when you hover over the dark writing there you'll see some little icons appear to set a hover state go to the one that you want if there's an arrow there we can do it we can right here desktop we're going to leave it to green that's when your mouse is not on it when the mouse rolls over it let's change it to a sort of ready purple color so make sure we're in the hover state I'm going to go into the color I'm going to paste my new hex code in there there we go so when we hover it's going to be that color when they initially see it, it's going to be that color now let's just chuck a bit of box shadow on to lift it off the page of course we can add an icon if we want to let's add a shopping cart icon and there's plenty to choose from uh, let's just do that one and I kind of like to see that all the time so if you want to see it all the time or if you don't want one just flip that to off if you want to see it all the time roll down a little bit we've got only show icon on hover no I want to show it all the time so I'm going to flip that to no and as you can see it's sitting there for us and again let's add a bit of text shadow to that 
and roll down, add a bit of box shadow to the whole button. Fantastic. Okay, well you can choose to upsell and cross sell products and related products down below. So let's have a couple of related products. Perhaps the customers might be interested in back down to our Woo modules. Here's related products right on the bottom there. Uh, let's have just two of them because I've got a smaller column here and make sure this is two columns also. And again, you can choose the elements down below show name. That's fine. Image is fine. Price is fine. Have no ratings on that at the moment. I'm going to take the sale badge off of those. Let's go over to our design, go down to image and we'll just pop a little box shadow in that as well. But of course, all the design is absolutely up to you. That's fine. OK, well, it's kind of shaping up there. And down below, I'm going to add a new little row, little green button for the row there and add a single row. And perhaps I'm going to have the cart products down there. So we go all the way down to our Woo again. I'm going to put the Woo cart products in there. And that'll show everything that they've got in their cart. If I just roll down so you can see it, there it is right there. And let's just style our buttons a little bit here. Let's go to the button right there. I'm going to use custom styles for it. Flip that one to on. Button text color. I'm going to make that white. It'll disappear in there. Just roll down so you can see what's going on. There we go. Background color. I'm just going to make it a sort of green aqua color. I'm not going to have any color change on hover with this one. There it is down there. Roll up again. And I'm going to give the border the same color. And let's do similar for the update cart button over there. So if I hit the paintbrush for that one, disable button, we'll turn those styles to on. And again, I'm going to give it that same background color. I'm going to make that riding white. And we'll give it similar border color also. There we go, that's fine. Now let's make our page a little more interesting. I don't really want to add anything else to this page. Save our changes there. Let's go up into the section and we'll give it a bit of a background to be more in line with the rest of our site. So blue tab for the section here, I'm going to hit the little cog, I'm going to go down to background. I'm going to add an image, I've got color gradient image video, background pattern or background mask. I'm going to add an image, I've got a little gradiated image I like to use here. There it is. Okay, and for more interest, I'm going to add a little background pattern in here. And this is a new feature that Divi just added. And it's a nice little feature. By default, it puts polka dots in. You've got several to choose from here. I'm going to put the sort of random little shapes in there. I'm going to give it our sort of green color. I'm going to take the opacity down quite a bit so it's just mildly in the background. Then I'm going to flip it around so the actual colors are inverted. Little switch right there. There we go. Let's make it really subtle. There we go, something like that. Okay, well, I'm fairly happy with that page now. It's getting a little lost in the background. Let's just give that a little background color and a bit of box shadow. I'm going to give it a white background color. But again, I'm going to take the opacity down so you can see a lot of it behind. But we still want to be able to read everything quite nicely. That'll work. And again, we'll pop a bit of box shadow on just to lift it off the page. There we go, I think that's fairly legible. There we have it, we've got a nice custom page there for our products. 
let's just save our changes while we're here we can actually save it to our library so we can just go in and flip products and keep keep using it and put new products in to save it to your library let's go in there call it product page so we can just change the actual product and it'll change everything for us we'll save that to the library now you save draft or publish your page Let's exit the visual builder, see what it's going to look like. And there we've got our little custom page. And that's a lot more interesting than your regular page there. Now to rinse and repeat to add a new product, all we need to do now is add a new page. Call it whatever you want your next product to be. Use the Divi Builder. And you can either clone the page that you've just made or you can build from scratch. We can load one from library. You save layouts, product page. And there's our product page. We can simply go in and start changing our modules. Might be easier to do it on wireframe mode, little icon down the bottom there. Just go into each one. Choose the new products. I think we said shirts, let's say casual shirts. Product description, again, casual shirts. Product price. Add to cart. Related products, we can leave that just as it is. And the correct product image. There we go. And job done, we can flip back to our desktop mode. And we've changed everything out there to the casual shirts. Simply publish your new page, exit the Visual Builder, and there's your new page. So there you go guys, there's how to add a custom product page using the great Woo modules from Divi Theme. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.